He was telling me, Granddad, you're going to have, they call me Granddad, you're going to have to, you need to be up at 6 in the morning and it's over at 2.30 and whatever, and I'm going, okay. <laughs> you're talking to a retired guy here, man. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, it, it, it was nothing like that at all. Welcome back, everybody, to Miss Melody's Learning Bites. Today, we're going to hear from Tyrone. He's a retired construction supervisor and business owner who wasn't quite ready to be fully retired. Hear what he has to say about study and the work ethic that is necessary to succeed in an online class and getting certified. You know, uh, tell us your background and um, why, why did you decide to take an online class at this point in your life? Without trying to smart, sound too smart, um, I graduated from high school in 73 out of Detroit, Michigan, um, started college, had a grant, and uh, I wasn't really ready to settle down and study too many girls around. I had a really good work ethic growing up. The concept of just making money just always stuck stuck to me. I was, I've been working literally all my life since about nine years ago. When I finally got completed um, trade school, well, actually I joined the union and they have an apprenticeship program. But yeah, in two years I turned out as a journeyman and I immediately wanted to launch a business because I figured out I'm making some really good money and I made a lot of mistakes and they haven't laid me off. So that got me to scratching my head. How much money are they really making? So um, that turned out to be very prosperous for me. I was um, the first 100% black owned uh, 100% black owned construction company that was unionized in the state of California. And then eventually three of the jobs that I was working in 2000, all of a sudden I'm not getting paid. When you don't get paid, you can't pay bills. So long story short, I had to end that. It hurt. It did. It did. Wow. Yes. 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 So I've had a lot of emotional hurt. I had uh, challenges, but I always felt like if someone else has done this, I can do it too. I don't believe in super people. I just believe in people that love what they're doing. So, um, so is that part of what? So, I if, when I had you in class, I think you were stepping back from construction. It, yes. It, uh, yes, I was step, stepping away. I had retired. I'd been in Vegas, if you remember, for like four years when I met you. In the prior three years, I was on the out of work list. So that weighed heavy. And now I'm retired. I'm out there in Vegas and I'm going, I got to do something. And I remember it. I remember telling my daughters because they didn't qualify for a scholarship when they were growing up. I'm going, well, look. You can do something else. You can still get your education. You just ain't got to finish it overnight. You know, and as long as you're doing something, you're making progress. Those very words came back to me while I was sitting up in my room, scratching my head, watching TV, binging on TV. And then I decided, you know, okay, I'm gonna give this a shot. And my son-in-law, uh, married to my oldest daughter on, on a holiday, and while there, we were talking, and he had uh, enrolled with uh, New Horizons. And um, I had a lot of things I was battling in my mind. Uh, the, everybody in the class is going to be younger than you. Um, they, they grew up on computers, and I was just beating myself up with all kinds of things that I, I really never saw materialize. So... And then um, I finally got accepted um, after jumping through some other hurdles, uh, after all of the embarrassment and whatever, and I had announced to my children that I was going back to school. 
So now I'm on the line. So after I have enrolled, after I have enrolled our first day of class, um, I didn't know what to expect. And uh, it, it, it helped having you there. You're, I, I've been in a lot of classrooms. Um, you have a unique gift. This is not new to you. I think I've told you this at least 20, 40 times. So you have a very unique gift. Um, everybody don't know how to communicate with everybody else. And no, everybody is not able to adjust to everyone else's level. So that's a unique skill set that you possess, in, in my opinion. And um, well, and that yeah. answers one of my questions. You know, as you're talking about that first day of class, you know, what were your emotions as you were coming in? You mentioned being concerned a little bit about being embarrassed about your age and that type of thing. What other emotions do you think you were going through as you were coming into class the first time? I was worried about how I would be received as a student of the class, a fellow student of the class. Mm -hmm. But in terms of my emotions, they were all over the place. And <clears throat> but as when the day was over, I felt like, OK, this is manageable because I didn't know we would get the, the pre-scheduled break. And you can actually walk away from the machine, get a refreshment, use restroom, whatever you had to do. I didn't know what to expect. Sessions were from, as I remember, from 11 to about 3.30, I believe it yes. was. Yes, yes. And that worked perfectly for me. And so the greatest thing for me to help me out, I believe, is when I stopped taking handwritten notes and I started making digital notes. Hmm, interesting. Then, Why do you think that was different? Because you taught us a thing about control F. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Once I connected those two, I'm thinking, so now uh, uh, if it's a buzzword that's going to get me to what I want to remember, control F, put it in, everywhere it appears is there. The practice of just going back and reading it, and then, yeah, that 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 changed it changed a lot in my life. Good. The study skills were important to get those yes. under yes. your belt. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so uh, you touched a little bit. I love the fact as you're telling your story, you're actually answering questions that I have on my list to talk to you about. So, oh, okay. you, so you're right on. You're right on. So yeah. I wanted you to address were there any other characteristics, not just of me, but any, I know you've had other classes too that made your online class successful. You, you know, I don't know. I'm sure you had this experience. When I was younger um, and the teacher would give us homework and I actually did the homework, I be I could not sleep at night. I can't wait to get to class, show off my homework, show off what I know and, you know, Maybe be the teacher's pet for a day. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, when... so the positive reinforcement, <clears throat> yes. not only of yourself to know you did it, but then sharing it with me or with the other classmates. Right. And your 100 board, that was. That oh. Was, <laughs> yes. And you, uh, in latter, the latter weeks, you taught, you taught us about the mission board, or I think that's what it, it was. Yeah, a, visual, a visualization vision board. Vision board. Yep. A visualization board, yes. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. That was awesome. That helped. <laughs> I think there's a lot of power to being able to, uh, we can to get bogged down in the details of the day-to-day -day how to do this, and we lose sight of the goal of where we're trying to get. So having that visualization is, is huge. You and I are both non-traditional students in the coming back and learning to, to participate in a class in an online instead of a face-to-face -face environment <laughs> is different. Right. What advice would you give someone like that who's taking an online class for the first time? Well, the, well, it, I, I, for me, I, I, the, the online class was a thing of convenience. Okay. Um, 
So the online class represented, I ain't got to leave where I live. <laughs> you know, so that, so I'm, I'm, I'm taking away excuses. There's no excuse for me not to do this. If you, like you said, if you only work five minutes on it, that's, that's something. Mm-hmm. That's something. You're a little bit closer. And if you find yourself liking what you're doing, I'm thinking that's the most important thing. If you're going to go back to school, make sure you choose something that you, you enjoy. That way, it's going to be hard to walk away from it if you're honest with yourself. But now if you, I tell people all the time, Probably 80% of the people that got a job, got a job they do not like. Yeah. So I would say put more thought into what you want to be um, and don't worry about the details. 